It was a lovely day on the wood headline, and Silverlink was enjoying it as he raced through the countryside of Yorkshire with the Silver Rose. I feel more alive than ever. Well, that's good to hear. We best slow down. We're approaching Manchester. Soon, they stopped at Manchester where a class 47 was waiting for his goods train, which was being brought in by Nemo. The Diesel noticed the A4 Pacific and didn't hesitate insulting him. Hey, you! Yes? What's a useless piece of scrap like you doing here? I take it that you're 47289? Yes, I am. Take it to friends have told you about me. <laughs> well, actually, our resident king had the misfortune of telling me. It doesn't matter. You're all scrap metal anyway. Soon, both engines heard a whistle, and Nemo arrived soon after. He quickly put the Class 47 in his place. Yo, hey, what's going on here? There's no need to be rude, lad. We're all engines here. Right, fine. Have it your way, rust bucket. 47289 switched places with Nemo and set off without a word. Later, the engines were talking about the day's events, with Mr. Salmon listening as they spoke. <sighs> that goods run was a tough one, even with two of us pulling it. Sure was. Wish we'd had a back engine to help. I don't think anyone would have been able to help. We were all busy. Well, I would have helped, if not for the Silver Rose. Speaking of that, I hear you had an encounter with 47289 at Manchester. Ah, well. There was nothing I couldn't handle. I did appreciate Nemo's help though. No problem. That diesel will earn respect. The easy way or the hard way. But I wish no harm on a fellow engine, whatever his type. Even though he was rude to me, I hope he does learn, Nemo. John learned the easy way. It's a shame King Henry VIII didn't. Mr. Salmon, who had been standing by, finally spoke up. Yes, well, it is a shame. He would have been a great addition if he had changed his attitude. Now, what's this about a Class 47? Oh, it's nothing, sir. He's just a young whippersnapper when all's said and done. He daren't hurt me. That may be true, but it's still unacceptable. I will be joining you on your journey to Manchester tomorrow. I will have words with this engine. Very well, sir. With that, Mr. Salmon went home for the night. The next day, he boarded the Silver Rose, just like he said he would. Hello, Sylvester. How are you today? Oh, smashing, sir. I'm all ready to go. Good to hear that, my dear chap. Mr. Salmon boarded the train, and soon the guard's whistle blew. Later, as they approached Manchester, Silverlink immediately noticed a Class 47 from a distance. As he pulled into the station, he saw that it was again 47289. Oh, hello there. Are you waiting for another train? I just delivered one to one of your friends. Why do you care, scrap iron? Because he's a polite engine. Unlike you, mister, Mr. Salmon had exited his train and was now glaring at the diesel. 47289 Recognizing him, was afraid to say anything. You've insulted Edwin. 
bullied Steven and now you dare to insult my toppling engine. You clearly have no respect. If it weren't for steam engines, you probably wouldn't have been told of. You've been told once before, and it sickens me that you have to be told again. Your owners should be ashamed of you. Now, I suggest you take notice of your actions before they get you into more trouble. Uh, uh, I, uh... It might be best if you say nothing and go back to Bia until your next pickup. Seeing that he had overstayed his welcome, 47289 left without another word. Later on, Silver Link told the other engines about it. Aye, they were good of Mr. Salmon to tell him at last. It's going to be interesting to see if he even speaks the next time we see him. If he does, I hope he shows proper respect, as do I, John. Mr. Salmon had walked up while the engines were talking and had been waiting for the right moment to speak. This made the engines jump. Oi! You've got a bad habit of sneaking up on your engines, sir. Sorry about that. But I wanted to tell you all that British Railways has apologized for 47289's behavior and have informed us that he won't be picking up the transfer runs for a week. They said he'll be given another chance after that. The class 47 that was here over Christmas, 47290, will be picking up the trains in his place for the time being. Now, I need to get home, I'm very tired and I need my sleep. Good night everyone. With that, Mr. Salmon walked away. A week later, Silverlink was pulling the Silver Rose into Manchester. He saw Richard and Class 47 and immediately assumed it was 47290, who had been kinder than his brother. He was surprised when he saw that it was, instead, 47289. So they led you back over here, I see. Yes, they did. 47290 was a little disappointed he wouldn't be coming back here today. Oh, why is that? We told him that Nemo arranged for him to help with the Christmas special. He's been good with us ever since. Nice engine. Yes, I had a chance to talk with him. He told me about you all. Seems I was wrong. You're all fine engines. Even you, Sibling. I'm sorry for how I treated you before. Ah, it's alright. I'm pleased. Call me Sylvester. Alright then. So... How did you survive anyway? Sylvester proceeded to tell 47289 his story, while Richard listened and watched the Diesel's reactions. The class 47 was amazed at the story, and was also surprised to hear a few other stories of the Woodhead engines. He left Manchester for BR territory with a lot to think about, but that's another story. <laughs>